This is part two, developing a business trading mindset created by Samuel F. Robinson at SamuelFRobinson.com for business owners who are ready to create additional money. Have you ever wondered if you should develop a business trading mindset? As we dive into the world of trading, it becomes apparent that success in this arena isn't solely reliant on strategies and analysis, but also, significantly, on the trader's mindset. In the bustling world of commerce, a trader's mindset is a crucial determinant of success. It calls not just for dedication and focus, but also discipline, confidence, and the ability to detach oneself from the fear of losing. This mindset isn't necessarily inherent, but something that can and should be cultivated. A trader's mindset is akin to a well-tuned instrument, honed and refined to resonate perfectly with the market's ever-changing symphony. It demands a certain level of egolessness, where admitting mistakes becomes as crucial as making the right moves. Yet, confidence should not tip into overconfidence. The balance between the two is a tightrope every trader must learn to walk. After all, confidence is key in executing a trading system, but overconfidence can lead to unnecessary risks. Moreover, understanding one's personality traits and developing a methodology linked to the dominant trait can make a world of difference. It's about playing to your strengths and mitigating your weaknesses. Trading discipline, the ability to stick to a plan, separates the wheat from the chaff, the successful traders from the unsuccessful ones. It's a challenging aspect, as self-doubt can creep in during drawdowns. Yet the focus should always be on execution, rather than money. Automating trading as much as possible can help in maintaining discipline and focus. It's about lessening the emotional toll that can derail even the best laid plans. Self-discipline is the cornerstone of success in trading. Willpower, hard work and persistence are the building blocks of this discipline. To draw a parallel from financial coach Dominique Broadway, who encourages busy moms to invest, the same principles apply to developing a business trading mindset. It's about setting aside dedicated time, utilizing tools for convenience, and scheduling regular check-ins to stay on track. In conclusion, developing a business trading mindset is not just a suggestion, but a necessity for anyone seeking to achieve success in trading. It's about discipline, confidence, detachment from fear, and a focus on execution. It's about understanding your strengths and weaknesses and playing to them. It's about hard work, persistence, and the will to succeed. Remember, trading is not just about strategies and analysis. It's about cultivating the right mindset, a mindset that balances confidence with humility, discipline with flexibility, and focus with adaptability. Start with purpose, cash flow, retirement, legacy. There are three things I want you to consider when considering cash flow as your purpose. Number three, start with a percentage of your trading account or a dollar amount you want to bring in daily. Number two, when paying off past debts, take the minimum payment for all the debts and add 20% to your monthly target. Number one, don't focus on the percentage or dollar amount focus on the activity that creates it. And practice makes permanent. Re-retirement provides a purpose and generates a recurring income to support you after you stop working. Are you considering trading with your retirement account? Talk to a qualified tax professional to set this up so it's tax advantaged. Would you consider having an LLC fund your retirement accounts? Lastly, building a retirement account into your trading strategy is a long-term play and consists of having discipline and focus to not allow emotional decisions. Creating a legacy is a form of philanthropy. I'm going to go over three things to consider, starting with number three, building a legacy account. It's for your children's children or foundation. If you follow the Rockefellers, you'll know that they fund trust and the trust pays all else. Many people don't know their great, 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 great grandparents simply because they didn't leave anything behind for their descendants to remember them by. On the other hand, some families have a prominent picture on their wall to remind them of the legacy left by their ancestors. To break the cycle of generational poverty, it's important to start creating a trust that can last for generations with money in it. It pays to have a business advisor like Samuel F. Robinson to guide you through the process of holding you accountable and setting things in place. You don't want to be stuck in must-have trying to catch up. In the future, videos will go over different platforms. Book a meeting at SamuelFRobinson.com.